Hi hey guys, I uh, just want to share on my new uh, 12S 2P flat battery. Uh, I, this is actually my next prototype. It's a Londi Yachts. Uh, it's a board that's um, your foot foot length is almost, I think, 26 inches or something. This is a 36 inch board. But the reason I'm using this type particular board is because it's really, really wide. And I wanted to um, test it out on this board uh, instead of, you know, one of those longer ones like drop downs. Uh, because with the drop down, with, with the rounded uh, tip here, um, your foot space is actually like less than actually this board here. And I wanted to build a board that's sort of different from what everyone else is building, like, you know, Evolved or own board. Um, so these are not the wheels I'm going to use. I'm going to use... Uh, Actually, uh, maybe a hundred. I ordered a hundred, I think a 15 millimeter Evon uh, rubber wheels, and I'm gonna see how that writes. Because I wanted to find something in between portability, uh, like a small board, something between a small board and a full long board. And this particular 36 six inch size is perfect, and it actually gives you more foot space. Right, uh, even though it's you know a lot shorter than a forty-inch board, you you actually have more foot space uh, than something like a Evolved or a own board. Um, so I wanted to build also a very light board because I could put a whopping like twelve S four P, get nice thirty mile range, but you know it just makes the whole board super big. Um, so I'm trying to get something that's comfortable to ride. That's that's uh. Big enough where I can go pretty fast, um, and also I'm going to put the rubber wheels and also get decent range. This 12s 2P should give me a 20 to 25 mile range. Oh, maybe maybe not that much. Maybe 20 miles. I think about 20 miles per range uh, with the the Samsung 40T. Oh, sorry, this is Samsung 30T. Uh oh. Um, sorry. Uh, I thought I was using 40T. So the range will be, I don't know. I'll have to, that's why I want to build it out and see how it does with the rubber wheels. I'm going to go ahead and use the Falk box. Now I don't really have a box that fits it. I do have this like broken end boards, uh, box that I can use. And I'm not really building a full board. Like I said, this is just a prototype and I just want to see what kind of range I can get. And I want to build a flat battery. So what I'm going to do is, uh, two, 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 two. So it's going to go uh, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, 12S, uh, 2P. And I'm going to go ahead and um, use the Fock box that I unboxed a few months back and finally have a chance to use it and see how this performs uh, since it's got a heat sink. And I'm going to go ahead and stress test it in my 30%, 40% grade hills here. And I've got a tor uh, leftover. These are all leftover parts, by the way. Uh, the torque board trucks I ordered a long, long time ago. So I want to make use of this. As far as the motors, I'm going to go ahead and use very small motors on purpose. I could put a 6355 motor. But the problem with 6355, it's just, it just really heavy and it just sort of beats purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and use this leftover Flipsy 5065 motor I have. And the clearance should be uh, perfect with... Uh, these torque board trucks so hopefully it's going to be a really lightweight board that's also going to have very good clearance um so you can go ahead and use urethane small urethane wheels and have very good clearance um if this uh, does work out well this is actually going to be uh the board i'm going to go ahead and make um i don't know it's, it's still a prototype like i said i want to build it and how, see how the ride is because I want to be able to ride it on the street. I want to be able to go over bumps. Uh, I want to be able to commute maybe like, you know, 15, 20 miles. Um, so it, it's a commuter slash fun board and also very, very portable. This one's going to be super light um, because th these motors are because you don't you don't, you I, I just find that you don't absolutely need big motors, you know, unless you're, you're going to do off roading. You don't really need six, uh, 63, six, six, uh, yeah, six, five, what is it? Six, oh, nah, sorry, 63 millimeter motors. Um, I do have, a, I do have these 65, four, but yeah, you just, you just get heavier and heavier. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, like I said, I'm going to have, uh, I think 115 millimeter or 120, 
I know I think it's 150 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue up these batteries, the 30T batteries in pairs. And I'll have a part two of this build. But for right now, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to fit the batteries onto a battery box. Later on, I'm gonna go ahead and make a customized box for this particular setup. But this is the thinnest way I could, I could see it on this board. But this board is beautiful. I really love it. I've always wanted to build a board around it. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have a part two. Um, but yeah, part one is just setting up my batteries and seeing how I'm gonna build it. And also as far as the battery pack, I'm not gonna build it into the case. The problem is if you build it into the case, like a lot of boards like own board, it's got BMS problem, then you gotta like take apart the whole damn battery. Um, by having the battery pack separate, and just a pack inside the box. Later on, you have battery problems, you can just swap out the battery pack. You know, why don't manufacturers do that? Um, I guess for flexibility, people like to do it. But this board is, is a not really a flex board. And if you have like pretty good wheels, I, I really don't care about the flex so much. Um, I guess some people like how it flexes when you turn, but I don't know, on electric, you're going so fast, I don't think it makes a huge difference. But yeah, this way I can just build a battery pack separately. And yeah, see how the fog box does. This is gonna be my first time using the fog box. Anyway, um, let me build it. Have a great day. I'll have part two soon.